My first job was working the counter at a battery cellar in Times Square. You'll notice I say cellar and not shop or store. That's because it wasn't a shop or store. It was in this building on the second floor. People would walk into this little standing area and I was behind this counter there in front of a smallish warehouse filled with tiny white boxes of batteries, with no labeling on the boxes. Most of them seemed to be made in Japan and had brand names I'd never heard of. People would come up to the counter and say something like, I'll take a box of PQ99C and I'd go back and find a box of PQ99C and bring it to them. They'd buy the box. We didn't take credit cards, just cash or check. And then every once in a while the owner, Murray, would ask me how the day was going or if I needed change. All my friends at the time had the kinds of dumb jobs most people wanted. Punk boutiques in the East Village or record stores or art cinemas. Maybe galleries. You get the idea. They kind of thought my job was weird. But I liked my battery job. It gave me mental space. I didn't have any of the harassment stories that my friends all talked about. And I learned a lot about batteries. Like a lot. The job lasted a couple years until some developers started buying out all the spaces in the building. I was surprised when Murray sold out. He seemed so battery-oriented and I didn't think he'd give that up. He took the money and moved down to Florida with his wife. She made good cookies. I forgot about that. Sometimes Murray would bring in cookies that his wife made. That lady's snickerdoodles were out of this world. Murray's place gave me ideas and a few years later when online business opportunities opened up I quietly started an online battery selling business. It took off and I sold it to Amazon for an amount I do not feel comfortable disclosing. That gave me the opportunity to start my consultancy called Mundane, where I create online business models and branding strategies for selling items that would traditionally be considered very unsexy. Like batteries. To reward myself I decided to buy a condo in the old building. I deserved it. I did the hard time there, now I could enjoy the spoils of it. These days the building doesn't look anything like itself, I have to admit that. It looks like a totally different building than the one Murray's battery business was hidden inside. Times Square doesn't look much like itself either. Not that Times Square looked very good when I worked there. It was a dump. Pretty sleazy. Extremely gross. But I know for a fact that it wasn't all porno joints and creepy guys catcalling, even if it was mostly porno joints and creepy guys catcalling. Whatever else you say about it, it was the type of place a guy like Murray could own a weird little battery business and a person like me could work there. I think about that a lot while I sit on my balcony. I don't know why.